After a century of making films for entertainment, Hollywood seems to be running out of ideas. As Sky's Shelley Goodrick reports, it's now turning to tales that are thousands of years old. It begins. It's being called the year of the Bible. 2014 is the year that Hollywood found religion, as studio after studio has turned to the good book for inspiration. The first of the faith-based movies is Son of God, a big-screen version of the History Channel's successful miniseries, The Bible. In its first four weeks, the film grossed $55 million at the box office. But what's the secret of its success? I think it's a direct response of the religious community to the type of entertainment that they want to see. They finally have options that they can take their family to and enjoy together and not have to worry about it. A great flood is coming. Next up is Darren Aronofsky's Noah, starring Russell Crowe and Jennifer Connelly. We have to protect our family. It's already off to a record-breaking start in Mexico and Korea and is expected to dominate the box office in America when it opens on Friday. The end of everything. The beginning. I think that people who are not coming to it from a religious background will find that the themes discussed are really timeless and universal. Um, and they'll find parallels in our contemporary world. I don't think we've been here before, pal. You had your grandpa named Pa, right? He died when I was about your age. He's very nice. Other faith-based films slated for release this year include Heaven is for Real, about a child's near-death experience, Ridley Scott's epic remake of Exodus, and God's Not Dead, a low-budget drama about a student whose faith is challenged by his philosophy professor. The film's producer believes it has a global appeal. Countries all over the, the, the world now that have never had a Christian movie in their theaters like the UK, Germany's reaching out to us. These places want to bring this movie now there. So religion is like a disease? Yes. Yes, it infects everything. It's the enemy of reason. Reason. It seems this is the year that Hollywood became synonymous with the holy word. Shelley Goodrich, Sky News.